Regis, I guess one of the things I'd like you, uh, you to talk about, and I guess we're looking at our extreme site, there was some method behind my madness why we have the site here, is you'll notice behind us we've got a substantial slope, so when we soil sampled we actually did benchmarks, and so what we found is on uh, the top of the slope, no surprises, the organic matter is about 3%, and basically where you're standing, Brad, we've pulled some cores and we're looking at about five and a half percent. So I found this kind of an intriguing site because you've got a huge change in soil quality in a very short area with about 30 meters. But I guess what I wanted, Regis, when we're doing our planning for fertilizer recommendations, we always look at uh, mineralization. And I know a lot of agronomists will use a rule of thumb of, you know, seven pounds of mineralized nitrogen per percent organic matter. Yep. You know, that's kind of an average. I guess I'd like to get your perspective on mineralization sure. and also, I guess, how dry years and wet years would maybe see some changes in sure. that. Sure. We developed a model at that time based on research data that shows that up to a 4% organic matter uh, under normal conditions or, you know, average, uh, you get roughly 1%. Uh, 10 pounds of nitrogen for every percentage of uh, organic matter. When the organic matter start going out, uh, past uh, 4%, that dropped to 80%, so 70 to 80%, you know, so 7 to 8 pounds. Uh, also, what we found out that when the weather was on the drier side, below normal, uh, we had 75% of the mineralization taking place. When it was above, we had 25 to 30% of the mineralization taking place. So, I mean, it's, uh, when a farmer, you know, is planning, the best strategy, of course, is to plan on um, average weather because uh, you're not gonna get as much nitrogen if it gets wet, but at the same time, uh, when it gets too wet and you get that extra, extra 30%, uh, you are facing other issues, yeah. such as lodging, for example, you know, right. with too much, uh, too much nitrogen. If it is dry, I kept on telling people, don't worry, it's not going anywhere. It's going to be part of your organic matter. It's going right. to be there next year. You know, so, uh, so the, the moral of the story, as I mentioned, is 10 pounds per 1%, up to 4% organic matter. And then point seven to eight pounds above four right. percent organic matter. Yeah. Right. So in in a year like this year with so much rainfall, you would expect that you will have some increased mineralization, of course. Right. You know. And so there's always that possibility that we're going to see more lodging Absolutely. than what was anticipated because Correct. we're getting maybe 60 or 70 pounds of nitrogen Correct. in the system rather than maybe 30 or 40. Correct. Yeah. At the same time, you're going to have some of the denitrification losses. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know, so it's, it's not going to be always lodging. I mean, you know, there are other factors involved depending what the right. temperatures are and so forth, right. you know. Yeah. Right. Okay. Good. All right. Well, thanks, Regis, for that overview.